How do y'all feel about charging people to be on your platform? Uh, two questions. Charging to be on the platform and also paying people to be on the platform. Of course, like the celebrities who are so-called bigger than us, we might reach out to them. They're like, man, I need this interview for you. And then you got up-and-coming niggas you ain't never heard of, but I want to get on your platform. And you be like, man, shit, who was you? Shit, how much you got? How, how do y'all feel about that, about charging for the platform? And I'm, I'm going to get my spiel after y'all answer. But, uh, Real Real TV, when it comes to charging dudes to be on there or paying for guests, give me your spiel on that. So far as the charging... Honestly, that's how I weed out who really serious, to be honest. Because okay. if the people that, you know what I'm saying, you got some serious people that ain't going to pay, but somebody that's serious and they take you serious, they wouldn't have paid. And sometimes, I don't, you know, I ain't going to charge everybody, but, you know, it's like, I know, that's how you weed them out. To me, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, this is something I want to do for a living. I want to get somebody, you know what I'm saying? Because you might not get them to you very time. Yeah. And, as far as paying people, for me to pay you, I'm going to have to know that this interview is going to get some attention. I'm not going to pay you just because you, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I probably would pay somebody, you know, just because, like, a boozy, but I know they're going to get some traction to the podcast, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to just pay you because you want to get paid, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Street fame, uh, same question, bro. All right, so artists who be like shoot be 5k and all that, I'm not gonna pay it, bro, because it's like we 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 doing something to help them too, even though they in the business, they they go they don't they don't they don't um the radio don't pay them, you know what I'm saying, and and other platforms that they feel is more important than you, they don't pay them, but really, mm -hmm. really, we just as important as them as them people on the radio because. You never know. I did the interview with Mike Jones and did 500,000 views. You never know what might happen. It's like, you can't just assume because we not radio or we're not the networks that we should have to pay you when you're not charging everybody else. So I'm I'm kind of against the whole paying for an interview. Um, I don't I don't think I don't think we should be paying for interviews. As far as uh people paying me, um, I really don't charge, man. It's funny because if I pull people, it's because I want them on my show. If somebody want to pay to be on my show. That we could talk numbers, but like like Buddy said, most of the time, they when when you start talking that money, you are gonna find out who's serious and who not. Right, right. Uh, Will Hustle, same question, bro. Give me some insight. Oh man, this is this is this you open up a can of worm with that. Um, I feel like um, it, with, with 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 up and coming artists, if you don't have no following, right? If you can't bring nothing to the table, then that's a service that we're offering. You feel what I'm saying? So you should want to get you because like I, I've been studying like the discovery phase for just marketing period because a lot of artists um when my market they, they don't they don't really realize you need to have a whole brand awareness campaign for a year, two years sometimes before you catch on. You know what I mean? And it's the same thing for artists. Like and, and one of the things I was listening to my talk on early leisure, he was saying that's one of the good ways to get popping is podcast. So if you're not popping, you need to have an investment in podcast to open up your exposure because some of these people, you know, they might only have a thousand subscribers or 5,000 subscribers, but they have a real cool core artist. Like shout out to my little bro, Trade 600 over in Austin on Instagram. He probably got four or 5,000 followers, but he did like, 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 uh, um, uh, investing yourself did. He was constant with it. He's like 20,000 subscribers on YouTube. You feel what I'm saying? And, and, and his audience isn't that big, but, Everybody in, in Central Texas, Corpus Christi, they rocking with them. So if you look at your analytics, you say, hey, man, Texas, is, you need to so work with all the podcasts, whether they big or not. Um, so as far as charging, I feel like the same thing with artists, right? You feel what I'm saying? If you're an up-and-coming podcast or whatever media outlet, right, and you just ain't popping, the time is everything. You understand what I'm saying? So a lot of these major artists, they don't have time to do all these little podcasts. They need to get the big ones be in and out. You know what I mean? Um, so, so I just feel like you need to be, you should need to know your level of the game, but I suggest anybody, like, I, I love to invest in yourself, brand Like that, that, that's just dope as fuck. Like invest, that's a lot of people are failing because they're not fucking investing in themselves. Excuse my language. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah, whether it's rap that. artist, a podcast or a taco stand, you have to invest in yourself. So look at like, like Carisha, please, right? Her podcast, right? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know who all got paid to get on there, but I guarantee you Revolt had a bag. So at the end of the day, this is a rapper who everybody doesn't know her podcast. You feel what I'm saying? 
because she had the right people on there. So like if, if I had the bag to invest, I go get me a Boosie interview. I go get a little bleach interview. I go get off because what you do is once you once you spend, say you say, man, I got twenty, thirty thousand dollars to spend on interviews, right? Now you're Vlad. Vlad bitch Vlad bitch has paid everybody to get on Vlad. Why do you think Boosie go on Vlad all the time? Yeah, it's a course. check every time because Vlad knows every time Boozy come on here, I'm gonna go viral. He's gonna say something goofy as hell. Ooh, you know what I mean? So it's like you gotta work together. You just gotta know your levels to the game. You know what I mean? But I would like I said, any up and coming podcast, anybody watching this, if you got a bag, invest that, to me, that's the fastest way for you to get your podcast popping. And Carisha, please, is a perfect example of that. 